So we need a visual reminder of a date expiration. Um, so what I'm going to do is show some conditional formatting. So I've got a setup here with uh, client proposals out and I'm going to go through and set up some conditional formatting based on these dates. Now it's important to realize you've got to have uh, date formatting correct before you start. So dates need to be in the date format before this will work. And then I've highlighted the range and I'm going to a date occurring and you've got all these different options. So what I'm really wanting to see is what is about to expire this week? Where is the follow-up needed? And you can change this. You can do whatever color you like. They do red, yellow, green as standards, but you can go in and completely change whatever it is that uh, works for you. So there I've got dates formatted um, in a bright yellow so that I can see those are the ones that are about to expire. What I also might do is um, set this up as a table so that I can sort it really quickly and do some filtering. So when I have something like this where this is the header row, uh, what I can do is insert the table setup and then what I've got are these little drop downs. So this is great for organizing my data too. I can filter by date here so I can see everything that's going on this month. I could even do some sorting like uh, the, let's do uh, oldest to newest, newest to oldest. There we go. So I can do it like that. You could tell it's filtered because it's got the little funnel there and it's got that set up. So the, really the only thing you need to know about tables is just have a header row. Don't skip any spaces. Don't leave any blanks. And then just start filling out your data.